of our supplements so I am gonna go over all of our supplements the flavoring why I chose the products it's been a long time coming but before we do that we're actually gonna get our workout in today's a back day but let's go take some pre-workout I don't want to show you because we're gonna go over all of the subs later on but I am gonna show you my pre-workout real quick just one flavor okay let's go I'm serious let's go let's go let's go all right this is the flavor that I'm gonna do pre-workout for this back session. Little cherry candy. Which shaker cup? My good friend, Noel Mack, just posted a super cool photo of this shaker cup. How cool was that? I sent out a bunch of culture stuff to a bunch of different people that I knew um, would give me good feedback on it. So thanks, Noel, for sharing that. It was a dope photo. And more and more people should be arriving, getting those. People like Terry Crews, my buddy Sean Lowe, Ben from Gymshark. So be looking forward to getting this feedback. All right, take the pre-workout. I take it about 15 minutes beforehand. Real quick, going over the pre-workout. Why we did no creatine in this pre-workout. Why? We're gonna be doing creatine products separately. We also have it in a pump product. I'll be going over the pump product later, but a lot of people, creatine isn't something that everyone wants in a pre-workout, so I left it out because I kind of like to dose my pre-workout separate from my creatine. Um, does have the beta alanine, which is gonna give us that face tingles. Definitely one of the things that I wanted to pack in there. Um, and then we have 200 milligrams of caffeine. Some people don't think that's enough caffeine, but I tend to, to disagree. Studies show about 400 milligrams of caffeine, you start having negative side effects, meaning you can't sleep at night. Trust me, we as a society get too much caffeine. If you're hydrated properly, if you're eating properly, if you're doing all of that, should be more than enough caffeine. I take a caffeine pre-workout probably two to three times a week. And then the other times I use the other three workouts, I would say is more of a pump product. Um, has pretty much everything in our pre-workout. Pump-wise, doesn't have the caffeine, but it does have creatine. We'll go over that later. I'm gonna dose this up right now. Cheers. Like I said, eight ounces of water, 15 minutes beforehand with the pre-workout. I'm gonna go down, stretch out, and then it's a big back day. Throw in some biceps too, just because you gotta hit arms. Every day is arm day. Pre-workout has been finished for about 10 minutes. My face is freaking on fire. Before we start this back day, these just dropped. These sexy little Fit Colt wraps. Uh, but first, I'm actually gonna go see how much I weigh. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling thick and juicy today. So we're gonna go see what kind of weight I'm gonna be doing pull-ups. I'll race you over to the weight scale. Let's go. Okay. 214 pounds. I'm not lying. Come look. Come take a look at it, guys. 214.1. That's pretty big to be running a sub 630 mile and to be doing push-ups as many as I can in two minutes. So hopefully that comes down a little. I'd like to do the whole challenge, which is gonna be next week, early next week, but I'd like to do that challenge probably weighing about 210. Maybe, maybe not, or we'll just do it being a big dog. So today's back workout. So I wanna take the shirt off. We'll, we'll leave the shirt on. I, I just did some push-ups because we start off every workout these days with push-ups and later on I'm actually going to try to break the 30 second world record, world record push-up challenge. We'll get into that later, but I figure since I'm doing all these push-ups for this Navy PT test, I might as well see if I can also break the world record for 30 seconds. But anyhow, first things first, pull-ups. Today's workout, love doing either starting off with a pull-up or a lat pull-down. Um, today we're going to be doing a pull-up with a weighted vest on, so this is a 40 pound weighted vest. I got five sets, staying away from complete failure, one rep short of complete failure on everything, so I'm gonna do as many as I can, one rep shy of complete failure.
did biceps two days ago. We did an arm workout. They're still pumped up. Pulps are definitely one of those things that you want to get good at just body weight. Once you can do 10 pull-ups with body weight, then you can start adding some weight here. So this guy's Hobbs hairs all over it. I actually kind of think this is a bulletproof vest too. We're not gonna try it, but I think it's a bulletproof vest. All right, next up we got a hammer strength unilateral kneeling row. So you guys are gonna see I'm actually gonna be on the ground for this. Gonna get a really good stretch. And it kind of changes up the angle. We're gonna be bracing myself and then pulling one arm at a time. I like doing unilateral exercises. I think it promotes overall strength because one arm, if we're doing a bench press or we're doing a pull up, one arm can work a little bit harder. When you start switching it up and doing a dumbbell or a hammer row where each one is independently, you're able to concentrate on each side. You only do as many reps as your weakest arm, remember that. When you start thinking of a pull down, and we're really concentrating on, on this one, pulling down to that lower lat. As you squeeze there, you're going to feel a lot of that lat activation. This is a good one to kind of supplement with that pull up. Um, it's targeting a lot of the same groups. Obviously, this one pulling at a different angle from a vertical pull up to a slightly arched pull in. So, targeting the same muscle groups, different angle. All right, after our hammer strength, we got bent over T-bar raise. I like doing with this landmine. Um, keeps your back at a good angle here, so we're gonna be bent over doing rows there. Supersetting that with a face pull for our back, so a lot of rear delt, upper trap, and then obviously the back muscles are gonna come into that face pull. We have back-to-back -back supersets on these. Four sets, eight to 10 reps. Again, staying about one to two, shot, two reps shy of failure on these, um, and then, we're gonna sprinkle a little dessert on top, get some biceps. No back day is really complete without some biceps. So leaning away, we have the cable curls behind our back here. Just good squeeze coming up without bringing our shoulders forward. No shoulder activation here. All biceps. Three. Nice control on the way down. So, like to finish off these workouts with some push-ups, with some sit-ups, depending on what day it is. I just saw this YouTube video where this kid basically does the Guinness Book of World Records push-ups for 30 seconds. He has a piece of toilet paper, and it's basically that's what he uses to touch his chest. He puts 30 seconds on the clock, and I think he knocks out like 60, so what the hell, we're gonna give that a go. So like I said, two guys on YouTube going back and forth about push-ups. Uh, 30 seconds, I figured we'd give it a go. This is gonna be the proper push-up form. Down, touch that toilet paper roll, and come back up. All right, we're gonna put four seconds on here to count us down, and then we'll have 30 seconds of work time. Let's count them out loud. I'm gonna count them out loud for you guys. Shoulder width apart here, can't be out too wide, so shoulder width apart. Two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Ah, not quite. Not quite a world record. 49 push-ups in 30 seconds. 
it's an interesting video. We'll let these guys keep their toilet paper because I don't feel like going down far enough with toilet paper. Definitely during the, the Navy Fitness Challenge, I think you have to go down lower because that's about, that's about four inches. I say you gotta go down lower than that. All right, right now, let's go upstairs, get our post-workout shake, and uh, let's talk supplements. It's been a long time coming. Also, what do you guys rate this outfit? Scale one to 10. It's a bit intense. Got the pink, the blue. I don't know, man. I don't know about it. I dig it. Never know exactly how much liquid to put in there. I typically use almond milk for my protein shakes too, but we're gonna go upstairs. I'm walking a little bit funny because I tweaked my back on that T-bar bent over row and it's just now starting to tighten up a little bit. So if I look like I have a stick up my butt, that's why. I mean, these shorts kind of make me look like I have a stick up my butt too, but. All right, got the water in here. Welcome to the sit down fitness culture introduction. Like I said, it's been a huge week here at fitness culture with culture supplements launching um, culture supplements long time coming. I did a video three years ago about how I was parting ways with Optimal nutrition. Great company over the last three years. I've had just about every single supplement company out there approach me wanting to do something. And at the end of the day, I wanted to do something that reflected what I was about something that I could leave my mark on the fitness industry. And basically that's what culture grew into. Our, our tagline is leave your mark because of that reason. It's something that I felt like, you know, I've been doing the expo scene, doing the, with Optimum Nutrition for so long that coming up with my own products has been really difficult in a lot of regards because I didn't want to do any shortcuts. I didn't want to, want to make sure that we had everything done right. So, rather than releasing tons and tons of products, we picked basically three core products and then our pump products, so four products total. Protein, we'll first talk about that. We have three flavors of protein. We have the cookies and cream, we have the chocolate shake, and then we have the fruity cereal. So these two basically really low in carbs, one gram. This one has little chunks of cookies and cream in it, so increases the carbs to five. I know in a lot of protein shakes out there, carbs is a big concern, carbs and fats. So again, low in those undesirables, high in protein, 25 grams per scoop, and it's whey isolate, so that's the purest form of whey protein. I always, if I just got basic whey protein out there, um, that was a blend of different whey proteins or just a different blend of proteins, I always would get bubble guts and there's a lot of fillers in there. So whey isolate, I feel great on this. I usually take a scoop and a half post-workout. Today, I go back and forth between, I'm actually gonna go chocolate shake just because it's been the one that I haven't gotten um, recently. The fruity cereal is the one that I like kind of like as a day-to-day, -day. like if there's gonna be one I'm gonna have day-to-day, -day, it's the fruity cereal. Cookies and cream taste like a dessert and chocolate shake is somewhere in between. So we're gonna go Scoop, a little less than a scoop and a half in there, so I'm getting about 35 grams of protein post-workout. Um, and again, biggest thing about this, you have to be flavored, flavors have to be spot on, but also comes from grass-fed cows, all natural source of whey protein here. Um, definitely gonna be great in terms of you guys are gonna love the flavoring. 110 calories, 120 calories, 140 calories. The only two difference between these two is this one has one more gram of carbohydrates, basically. They both have one gram of fat. This one has five grams of carbohydrates and two grams of fat. So this is my dessert one late at night. Those chunks of cookies and cream in there, it really does it for me. So this is the protein. Um, oftentimes I'll get BCAs during the workout. I did it today because I want to be real with you guys. BCAs have always been something that I've used, especially when competing but they're not a must. And what I mean by that is protein has BCAs and ECAs in it. Uh, if you're eating chicken breasts, if you're eating sources of protein that come from animals, basically, you're getting those ECAs and BCAs. I like these because I like sipping on them in my water. And especially if you're dieting and don't like eating tons and tons or drinking tons of protein shakes, it's an easy way to get those BCAs in your daily amount. So again, not necessarily totally needed, but let's talk about that for example. Supplements are something that, again, in that word, supplementation, I said this over and over again in the years I was with Optimum Nutrition, 
It's like 5% of the equation. Depending on your goals, supplements should be there as an insurance policy. We're gonna come out with more products in the future, whether it's a greens product, a reds product, or multivitamin, but all of it, no matter what we come out with, is to supplement proper nutrition, good sleep, and proper hydration, as well as proper training. If you're trying to out supplement a bad diet or out train a bad diet, you're always gonna be chasing your tail. So everything's gotta be on point and then supplements come into play. So the big things with BCAAs, again, you don't have to have them. Uh, we did include some cherry tart in there, which is gonna de decrease your DOMS um, to promote some recovery. Work moving on to pre-workout. The pre-workout was a category, I wanted to create all of these products in the way that I would personally use them. So in our pre-workout, we have 200 milligrams of caffeine. That might not be as much as some of the other brands out there because we talked about this before we started working out. Too much caffeine. If you're over 400 milligrams of caffeine, that's gonna start having a negative effect on your day. You're not gonna be getting as much sleep. Your central nervous system's gonna be taking a hit. So that 200 milligrams to me felt like a sweet spot, especially when we start talking about the other things that we have in there. The beta alanine, the 3.2 grams of carnosine. So trademarked ingredients to make sure you guys are feeling those effects and it's just not this proprietary blend. So the pre-workout, three different flavors. I didn't even mention the flavors in the BCAs. We have the Tropic Thunder, and then we have the Shark Bites. Shark Bites, if you've ever had like the Shark Bite gummies as a kid here in America, I had those, I love those flavors. With the pre-workout, we have Cherry Candy, we have our Blue Raspberry Chews, and then we have our Sour Citrus. So three different, very different flavor profiles, but all are gonna deliver a face tingling beta alanine, enough caffeine to get you going, and other ingredients in there to help promote a pump in your workout, um, the taurine in there. I know a lot of people have talked about taurine in pre-workouts. We like it because it's going to really decrease some of the negative side effects of caffeine in there. So that's why people, that's why we made sure we've included that in there. Um, I take it again, on here you can see 20 to 30 minutes before your workout. So we tell people to take it 20 to 30 minutes before. I typically take it 15 to 20 minutes before. Start with my stretching, start walking on a treadmill. BCAs I kind of sift throughout. Shakes, I get usually twice a day. Um, the pump product is one that people are like, hey Steve, when do I take this? I don't always take pre-workouts. I take pre-workouts two to three times a week. This pump product, if I train at night, if I come back for another session, this is when I'm taking pump. Um, leg day, a back day, any, if I'm just doing arms, I don't need caffeine. Like, I don't wanna sit there and abuse caffeine. I wanna be able to use it, and when I do use it, I wanna feel those effects. If you use something every single day, you're gonna rely on that, and you're not gonna be able to work out without it. So that's why I don't always over-caffeinate every single day. There's gonna be days where I'm gonna need it. If I don't get enough sleep, again, supplementing my, my daily lifestyle, my daily habits, I'm gonna be supplementing that with things like caffeine. But I love, love, love this pump product. It does have creatine in it, so that's the biggest thing. We did not put creatine into the pre-workout. I didn't want to put creatine in the pre-workout. I was the kid that liked mixing every, having a scale, like mixing every single ingredient so I knew exactly what was in there. I think creatine is something that you could have in a pump product, or if you really want it in your, in your pre-workout, you can add it to that. So this is a little bit more of a specific product um, that you can take if you have those needs, maybe you work out late, maybe you work out or, you, or maybe you don't like having a ton of caffeine in your in your daily regimen, this pump product is perfect. You can think of it as a, uh, a mood enhancer. It's also going to give you obviously some nitric oxide benefits. Don't need that caffeine, this is your product. So all of these, this all of these flavor profiles, the peach mango, all of them we tested time and time again. So for the last six months, we've been working just on the flavor profiles. I can tell you right now, we've probably, with the final products you see here, we, we've tasted at least three to five flavors in each single one of these flavors to make sure we get the one that we like the best. So we're delivering a product that I'm super excited about, not only scientifically, but also how things taste. So when you guys order it, it comes in a cool box, um, has a cool lid, again, culture, when we talk about culture, we talk about leaving your mark. That's why we have the thumbprint on the top. Leave your mark down the side. And each one kind of talks about the mission statement of, of culture supplements. So the power of an individual is the undefined potential to be great and inspire greatness. Chase destination, smash through plateaus, and one up the mark. When it's time to look back, you know you had nothing left to give. 
leave your mark. And I just think it's it's been fun. It's been so cool to develop this brand for the last three years, really, and finally see it come to fruition. We are gonna be adding future products, so be on the lookout for those. But this right now, I feel really excited for you guys to taste all of these. Give me your feedback. Follow Culture Supplements on Instagram. We're gonna include our link in the description below. Get on there, be a part of the community, and uh, yeah, give your feedback. Honest feedback is always appreciated. Um, I've talked to a lot of different people when they've asked me about ingredients and why we have them in there. Also, we'll be releasing two new shakers with some orange in there. I just love the color orange. So we went with the black profile with the matte black lids. I'm super excited. I definitely just talked your guys' ear off. I appreciate you guys watching this and I appreciate you guys supporting this. I know it's been a long time coming, but we wanted to make sure we did it right. I'm super happy with how everything turned out from the bottles to the labels, to the ingredients and the flavors. Cheers to Culture Supplements and to uh, hopefully getting out in the new year and doing some meet and greets having people sample some of these products because they're delicious. Mm.